Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. This I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. So really quickly, there's a king of swords with a whole lot of secrets. There's a man I've been getting like a whole lot of visions about. Like literally I'll be sitting or just laying on my bed or my couch. And I'll see a man in my vision just logging into different systems. Um, the last vision I had of this man was yesterday. Um, and he was in the computer system at home logging into all these different sites and accounts. And I saw uh, also him in a dream. And he was logging into something and it had like an employee ID number on there. So this is someone's employer, someone's boss that's been doing this. Yeah, <laughs> baby, I'm so glad I came out with the king of wands. This is someone's boss, a business owner that's been out here doing a little bit too much. Um, someone is really worried about you receiving some type of offer that's going to enable you to move on with your life. Okay, and I'm so sorry that the maybe the quality of the video may not be up to par like it used to be, but I have some stuff going on behind the scenes, so I had to do what I had to do <laughs> um, to make sure that I'm still putting out content. We'll talk about that later in another video, but right now I'm just focusing on my um, messages. I don't really want to focus on any of the negativity that's going on behind the scenes. I know I'm going to be good because my ancestors are taking care of me. I'm making sure to stay in a positive energy. But there is someone's boss out here, a business owner that has just been doing too much. Someone is like very void of human emotion. Someone likes to control everything. There was something this man was put in charge to do. This is the absolute truth. We're finding out about someone Someone was asked to either monitor an employee that's working for her or him. This is a man I saw, so I'm not going to say her or him. This is a man that I saw. Someone was asked to watch a, uh, either like a feminine or a masculine energy that works for him, okay? And he's been out here causing all kinds of havoc in a situation that's not needed. It's that someone wants you to see them as like a love option a love partner but they want to be able to control you someone sees that you are like a queen of cups when it comes to other people but when it comes to him you may be a little bit too direct and straightforward with him you're not like uh gen not gen it's not that you're not genuine with him you're just like a queen of swords with him and i think it may be because of the fact that you know what this person uh, has been doing behind the scenes someone has been really accustomed to playing a role for a long time um and he's been able to fool everybody around him right um but there's something where this man has not been able to fool you someone pretends to be someone of high honor someone with integrity but they're not someone with integrity there's something they've been able to some type of persona they've been able to carry for for a long time um so this man has been logging into systems and things like that let's and i picked up on this a while back if some of you that watch my channel repeatedly you will remember that i said something about a man that logging into accounts and things like that doing things this will be like someone logging into like if you work for him and you are in the system doing something he is logging in at the same time and miss messing with stuff in there just to make it seem like you don't know what you're doing um just to make you seem unfit and then what he's also doing behind the scenes is like speaking ill of you to other employees um but he's doing it in like a subtle way where it makes it look like he's telling them to be patient with you um that you know just be considerate just you know be patient with her or him they don't really know what it is they're doing i'm trying to give them time to get acquainted uh they make a lot of mistakes but it's okay it's not the end of the world someone does that but it's not that you're the one making the mistake it's him that's in the system messing things up okay 
if someone is about to have some type of court case on their head and it's going to lead to them losing a lot of money they may in, even end up losing their business and i think i picked up on this before and said the same thing yeah a business is coming to an end because when you and this person go to court you're going to be taking them for every penny that they've got someone has been afraid of the truth coming out but instead of them choosing to balance something out with you and just kind of letting something go they've been going in and doing more and more because they've been freaked out that oh my gosh people are going to find out what i've been doing oh my gosh people um know that i'm doing something to this person i don't i don't want this truth to come out if this truth comes out i'm in a heap of trouble yeah someone has been all over the place just worried confused just burdened so this kind of person when they are worried about the truth coming out, instead of them stopping and trying to mend things with you, they will do more heinous actions. They will take more heinous actions towards you. Uh, so they will up their antics. Uh, they may even start logging into your computer and things like that, shutting things down so that you're not able to do your work. If you're someone that has a platform, they'll maybe get on there and shut down that, try to shut down the platform or block how much uh, uh, exposure you have so that people are not getting any type of access to you to see you. Like someone is very malicious and boy, someone is very wicked and they're living in a lot of fear of you receiving some type of ace of pentacles. Someone does want to establish establish some type of friendship with you it's not this man that you work for it's somebody else um and this is like going to be some type of rule awakening for whoever it is that wants to work with you or wants to come towards you and give you some type of friendship because the whole time you've been in this managers or this business owners energy or environment the other person has been thinking that they can trust this man to do the right thing but all he's been really doing is invading your privacy and causing a lot of illusions to other people people especially the people around him and the person that asked him to watch you say hey i'm interested in working with this person or i want to be with this person but i need time to get myself together to get all my you know young ways out of me so can you please watch them make sure they don't get with anyone until i can fix myself and when i'm ready for this person and ready to work with them then i can come and make a proposal to them or give them some type of offer that was the agreement it's what i picked up on meanwhile this person is being your energy watching you initially he was just watching you and then it turned to some type of obsession now he's into self phones, breaking into cell phones, breaking into computers, email accounts, all kinds of accounts, bank accounts, all kinds of stuff. Like someone has been doing a little bit too much and interfering with communications. Like someone has been monitoring people's or someone's life for a long time in ways that he should not even be monitoring and he's gonna have to walk away because you this queen of pentacles he's been stopping you or trying to stop you from having some type of wish fulfillment you're going to have this this is your destiny this is something you've manifested okay he could have been working with a queen of pentacles as well behind the scenes now i don't know if that's his wife his girlfriend or someone's wife that he's been working with or someone's mother he's been working with and they've been either paying him to make sure that something or to people to not do not come together so he's been making sure that uh, uh um telling you he's been working with someone he's been working with a family behind the scenes i'm being corrected this business owner has been working with a family behind the scenes to make sure that you don't you and someone do not come together someone does not see you as fit for an offer whether it's a business relationship they don't want him to see you as fit so they've been doing something behind the scenes to interfere with your image, your character. Uh, someone may have even been planning to take you to court. It's that he gets into the system and does a lot of malicious things in there and then tries to pretend like you're the one that did it. Um, but someone is not able to take you for, to court because the truth is being exposed. These people have absolutely been working together, plotting your demise, plotting your ending. And this is a narcissist that's been really set and determined to block the truth from coming out. And again, I'm so sorry for the quality of the video but you guys are gonna have to put up with this for a while um until i can figure something out but i promise i'm figuring it out um but this is someone very karmic and toxic the entire family there's something about them just feeling intimidated by you um maybe you could be someone that's intuitive someone that's gifted or someone that's just very you know about your shit you don't care too much to men uh, mince your words you say things for exactly what it is you live in your truth you don't care how weird or awkward it look you don't care what people think of you you live in your truth and you know you may have a very strong intuition 
intuition that bothers these people. Maybe they've been taking advantage of this other masculine that's interested in working with you. And maybe they know when you come around, he's going to be relying on your intuition to lead him on the right path to, you know, be honest with him. Tell him if he should do something, not do something, because these are people, maybe this masculine also behind the scenes. The other masculine that's interested in working with you could be a business owner as well. So he may be, you know, valuing valuing your opinion over them because he knows his family, maybe over the years, family, friends, colleagues have not always had his best interest at heart. Maybe they just tell him yes, sir, no, sir. I mean, they just tell him yes, because he's the boss. But maybe there's some type of interaction you have with this man where you actually tell him what it is he needs to hear. You don't just tell him stuff that you want him to hear. You don't just sugarcoat things. There are people in life, believe it or not, that appreciate those kind of personalities where you are straightforward with them because they know you're not being malicious. It's not coming from a place of maliciousness. It's coming from, oh yes, I'm so glad this uh, Ace of Cups came out. It's coming from a genuine place. So this may be why this man want to work with you. There's also something I'm hearing about the King of Swords that's been doing a little bit too much. He's upset that you and this man have some type of genuine connection. Like you two are meant to work together and you will have this new beginning. So whoever you're supposed to be with could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius that you're going to be working with. And this uh, air sign behind the scenes, the King of Swords, he is absolutely devastated because you don't see him in that light. It's that someone having a lot of emotions for you, but all you really see is the monster that they've presented so the, the feelings are not reciprocated and i don't think this man is really putting two and two together is that not everyone in life you are meant to deceive there are people in your life that you are meant to be straightforward with sometimes it sometimes things can, things can look funny um from looking outside from from looking from looking from the outside in, things can look a little funny, especially right. You don't know someone, and someone else is telling you to watch them, and maybe that feminine energy or masculine energy moves a little different from everybody else, and you don't understand why they do that. But then you become obsessed with them and start trying to destroy their lives from behind the scenes, and then make it try, try to make it look like it's some type of natural disaster. Things like that, the universe would never let you get away with it. It will always step in to balance things out. So this King of Swords is absolutely jealous of. This connection you have with this temperance energy, whoever this man is that has become this temperance energy has not always been like that. He is someone that used to be very much impulsive, uh, stuck in his head a lot. People were able to play mental games with him, but you gotta, you, you have to give these kind of people kudos for putting in the work to actually fix what it is that they need to fix. Whereas this King of Swords has not put in the work to fix anything, he's been pretending whoever you're supposed to be working with could be a King of Wands, King of Pentacles kind of energy, or could be a King of Cups simply because of the fact that they want to work with you. They want to be with you, okay? It's a whole lot going on. This family may be devastated because you and this person will meet. They are trying to trap this man. This King of Swords is trapped because everything he's been doing is coming to the light. This man is very reckless. Okay, he may be taking some type of reckless action to come in to now give you some type of offer that maybe you should have received a long time ago. It's a no, sir. It's a no. Nobody wants that. He may be trying to cause you some type of ending that like he's going to maybe even try to show up at your house and, you know, try to bust the door down, try to get you to open the door. Like someone is crazy, but you as the high priestess, what I just saw is that you already have foresight of this new beginning that the universe is giving you because this is your karma, your justice, your good karma, things moving in the right direction for you. This is what you deserve. And you've made it through all of this maliciousness by this king of swords, by the <laughs> chin of your chinny ching ching. Okay, honey. The what did it what did it say? The hair of your chinny ching ching. Yeah, I know what I what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I know I'm not from the USA. Baby, I'll be trying. I'll be trying. Don't hold it against me. But you know what I mean. This man has been doing a little bit too much and you've just kind of barely made it through. Um, because this is someone that went all out. Something started off real nonchalant and then his ego kicked in. He said she's a feminine or he's younger than me. There's no way that he's supposed to 
be able to destroy me someone has become a full-blown narcissist and they're very determined to steal some type of ace of pentacles from you they don't want someone giving you an offer or a friendship they don't want someone seeing you as a love offer they've been trying to block the truth from coming out but there's truth and clarity coming out so if you all didn't know or whoever you all are in this situation this is what has been going on behind the scenes because i hear this king of wands whoever wants to work with you has been really confused they're like what the heck is going on I'm sending this person emails trying to call them and things like that and they're not answering. It's because this lunatic of a king of wands has been behind the scenes doing a lot of manipulations, blocking communications and things like that. And that's because he's working with either his girlfriend or his wife or he's working with this man's either wife or mother that has been blocking communication someone is going to have to move on okay because right now he's hanging on a thread i don't know what he's about to do but someone is out here about to take some type of reckless action trying to put your you know exposure this is a social media car he's trying to put this to an end he don't want people seeing you and there's something he has done that has backfired on him really horribly and you're about to be out here on the world stage people will admire what it is that you do in life because you have a like to offer to people i'm going to move this camera back a little bit excuse me hopefully that helps i don't know okay we'll figure it out as we go lord jesus have mercy on us the enemy is trying to destroy us but they will not succeed we're just gonna keep moving on we're just gonna keep moving on this king of source here is going through karma for trying to stop the truth from coming out if i were a king of cups I'm telling you, whoever wants to work with you is in that King of Cups energy. He's been trying to block the truth from being given or being presented to a King of Cups. Or he didn't want a King of Cups seeing what it is that he needs to see about who he wants to work with. But this truth is coming out and he's heartbroken because what this, I mean, I'm telling you all, it keeps coming out the same. Ace of Cups, Temperance, Ace of Wands. You two are going to come together and heal together, pour, in, pour into each other, work together to have this new beginning. It's going to take a lot of discipline and things like that kind of youtube keeping to yourself leaving something old in the past figuring out how you're going to move forward together come together and have this abundant new life manifest this prosperous life together and people may not be happy about it this group that's been collaborating behind the scenes because i don't think it's just been this king of swords and this queen of pentacles has been collaborating it's been a whole family out here that's been collaborating you and this king of cups may end up in the public eye helping people heal and things like that having people see things from a different perspective so that they can ascend right and uh acquire the kind of knowledge that they need in life to be content within thyself instead of yeah to be content within thyself instead of looking for things outwards okay um, so someone may have foresight of you now. The King of Cups may know exactly what has been going on and he will be taking action to balance something out because he sees you as wish fulfillment no matter what these people have been doing um, to kind of interfere with your abundance, your connections and everything. They don't want you manifesting, but you have already manifested this relationship or this connection, this collaboration. People are seeing that you are someone in the upright. Justice is playing out for you, okay? Justice is absolutely playing out, and it has people out here living in fear because they know they're about to lose everything for putting in all of this hard work, baby, to what cause an ending to your new beginning without any type of malice on your part. You, These people could have been coming after a lot of you without even you knowing it. Are you just choosing to disregard them? You, you ever seen a situation where it's like the enemy is coming after someone and all you're really doing is like praying or minding your business, you know, meditating, eating your vegetables and, you know, drinking your green juice, talking to your crystals and your ancestors, not really paying people any mind. And the more and more they do something, it's not working. The more and more they get frustrated, angry and pissed off and bitter. So they start amping up that tactics, not knowing they're sinking themselves into a deeper whole someone is someone is going to need to find a lawyer because they're about to lose everything and if you're not if you the star see are not the one because you're about to have wish fulfillment honey you're about to have everything your victory the family you've always wanted the uh, connecting with your soul tribe everything you're about to have it even if you're not the one that takes this person to court whoever this king of source is that i'm picking up on oh honey whoever that's been wanting to work with you is going to be taking them to court ah uh, baby yeah he sees you as wish fulfillment he wants you to heal him it ain't 
in your dry. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This man is under judgment. Now he's thinking twice about what it is he's been doing. Someone may want to apologize to you, and he's trying to figure out how now he can do that. We don't want no apologies. Keep that apology ticket and stick it up your narcissistic behind and serve that karma that is well due. By this time, Maya has been cooking that karma for so long. It's well done, overdone. Uh, double, triple on that overdone okay and here it goes to you your narcissistic behind everything is coming out about you okay everything is coming out about you why you've been doing something for so long is because you wanted to be the one to come in and give someone some type of offer so that you could sneak them cause allusions to an empress and about an empress this is like one of those situations like sleeping with the enemy it's like someone working really hard to weigh you down, burden you and things like that, just so that they could be the one to come in. Because if this dismantle all of your other options and offers and only them, or um, they're the only one there now for you to accept an offer from, you have the criminal, the thug, uh-huh. Now they can come in and say, hey, girl, hey, pretty young thing, I see you're in distress. No need to fret. I have an offer for you. Sounding like a, oh, Sounding like a no, 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 like a big warning sign, okay? Trying to make something seem like it's a new beginning, only for you to find out that this, that this is someone very reckless and impulsive, and they're just making you an offer to trap you in some type of situation so they can have farther control over you and block your abundance, your forward movement, everything. Okay, we got a uh, empress falling out in the reverse, which which is alarming. Somebody's wife or mother is involved in this situation, and they are exposed. It's, whoever this is has legal issues coming to them as well. You're all going to have to pay out a lot of money. I'm telling you, she may want to come in now and give you some type of offer. You don't want no offer from this woman, okay? Because it's not genuine. The king of wands himself may be coming in to give you an offer, and it's going to be something that leads to a new beginning. The actual king of wands, be very cautious because there are quite a few people in here that have some type of malicious intent to come in and manipulate you. But he is sneaking away from this family. He's done. This is someone that has mastered themselves. Now, I know we have this seven of swords out here. But what I think it is, is that this person is getting away from this family. He says, sure, I'm out of here. I can't do this nonsense no more. This is what you all have been doing out here. Huh? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. He's sneaking away to get to get away from these people. Even if he does not end up with you, um, he's still getting away from them because there's something that's been exposed and illuminated to him about what they've been doing behind the scenes. How the family has been collaborating with an emperor behind the scenes to block his forward movement. Yeah, they've been working really hard to cause this man distress in his options, his decisions when it comes to love. They didn't want him make, uh, choosing you as a love option. They'd rather he stay karmic, dating these Jesse Bells out here that ain't helping him heal, elevate, or nothing. You're about to be in a community that's going to be very, very uh, uh, successful, full of a lot of love and things like that. And this person is absolutely a king of pentacles. Whatever you two are coming together to do is going to be very successful. And this is what people are afraid of. Whoever this king of Pen uh, swords is has been working really hard behind the scenes to block this offer for you. Is someone that's intimidated by this king of pentacles, king of wands energy. He's trying to figure out that what does this man do for a living that he makes all this money i want to know uh so while he's stalking you he's also trying to figure out what that man does for a living because he wants to be up there i'm telling you he is leaving this man here is leaving this family to get into a connection that's genuine there you go right there baby i don't be fooling around with you all Okay, I don't be. I know I got my little lethal mouth, and I be saying whatever the heck I want to say because I got the authority to do that because I don't been through the through, through the fire and back. Okay, lightning and the thunder, thunder and the lightning, baby. I've been through it, so I'm gonna say whatever the heck I got to say. Okay, if you don't like it, click off the channel and go watch somebody else. You are more than welcome to go watch one of one of my other fellow beautiful practitioners it's a lot of them on youtube okay but baby what i am gonna do is say what the heck i want to say okay but this man is absolutely going to be meeting with whoever he's supposed to they will be coming together manifesting this new beginning 
someone may be disappointed feeling alone and isolated feeling rejected because of something he did to you in the past may have betrayed your connection with him maybe you two had some type of brief friendship or whatever this is but baby when i said i saw that king of swords back to the maniac i saw him fold like someone has been doing some type of magic behind the scenes for a long time where I haven't been able to see his face. Like, all I can see is his body and his hands when he's on the computer. Just to, maybe I, I saw his face face. Like, I was like, God dang. Ah, be dang. Somebody's boss is out here just doing a little bit too much. Too much. That's like I said, employee. Blah, 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 blah. I said, uh-uh. You want to tell me you're out here hiring people just so you can sneak them? What is wrong with you? And it's a whole queen of cups. He's sneaking out here trying to block things from balancing out in this person's life. And I'm telling you, this king of wands, he's about to find out. Oh, you got problems coming in, sir. You got problems. Whoever the queen of, um, excuse me, whoever the high priestess is that you all have been working with got problems. Baby, you got problems coming in. Been plotting a queen of pentacles ending. There's a queen of pentacles too going through some type of karma. Baby, everybody is burdened and weighed down behind the scenes about to be going through some type of poverty queen of cups reverse in the community girl you about to be homeless out here you all have been working very long very hard to defeat and stop someone's pathway okay go get a lawyer because you're gonna need one you're gonna need one you're gonna need one <clears throat> Because whoever this King of Wands or King of Pentacles, King of Cups is, baby, he's about to be out here to ching, chuck, ching. He said, oh, you want to play games? I can play games, too. Oh, I can play games, too. I can play games, too. You, you got me fold up in one and too many ways. You got me fold up. So he's about to fix you. This man, this King of Swords, is living in fear because there's truth and clarity coming out about what he's been doing either with his family his friends he's got other people involved this man thinks he's very intellectual very conniving he thinks he's uh the master of disguise this is someone when you yeah he thinks he's the master of disguise but someone is just really a trickster they ain't put no work in to become this. So all they are is a trickster. Okay? Um, and this is why he's burdened. Because he knows. he's Baby, I told you, sir. You about to lose everything. Everything? Everything. You know how Cat Williams says it? Everything must go. Maybe even you. Yeah. That part. Okay? You, the Queen of Cups. King, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, anybody else that's been working with you, everybody must go. Everybody's living in fear. Oh my gosh. What are we, what are we going to do? What did you do? What happened? What happened? Because this man has been out here boasting that he has control of something. Baby, I'm telling you, whoever this woman of high honor is, this employee is that he's been stalking and blocking opportunities for, baby, everything you invested in is about to multiply 10 times over. You're going from the Nine of Pentacles to the freaking Ten of Pentacles. Legacy. Business empire. Comfort beyond comfort. Baby, this ain't even comfort. This is like, this is like next generation, next generation. Legacy down the lineage kind of vibe you're about to be stepping in. And this is what they didn't want you to know they've been doing behind the scenes. This is what they didn't want you to know what's your future. You've been investing in something in. Baby, people stick with me. This is getting good. This is getting good. I'm so sorry if this reading ends up being too long. You manifested this nine of pentacles for yourself. So you took time to invest. You see this right here? You invested in your seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles is usually you putting in a lot of work. You don't went from thinking about it, envisioning it, healing from within, learning the skills, the, the knowledge and everything that you need to learn here. And you've invested the time, energy, and resources that you needed to do in something, that you needed to put in something. And then you, it, it went to a nine of pentacles. And what it is people are afraid of and don't like is the fact that you are a nine of pentacles by yourself. Well, what, duh, 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 duh. The Knight of Pentacles are oftentimes people that are single and have worked really hard to get to where they are in life. So, of course, they're going to be alone. 
people don't like to see these kind of people. They don't understand the kind of work that goes into this kind of energy, this kind of position in life. Like you got to commit yourself to what it is that you are envisioning. You don't get in this position overnight. You don't get in this position by uh, chance. Oh, oh my gosh, look at me. I just landed into a nine of pentacles. That, that's not how it works. You got to actually put in time, effort, energy, manifest you know, stay in connection with source no matter what's going on around you. A lot of successful people that actually work hard for what it is, they will tell you the same thing. Success is not overnight. You don't do all this work energetically, verbally, mentally, emotionally. You've done everything to get into this nine of pentacles and now the universe is saying you know what girl <laughs> sir brother son daughter we seize you we seize you it is time to put you in this ten of pentacles oh here comes the maniacs uh -uh, uh -uh. <clears throat> i don't think she's worth that i don't think he's worth that who the hell who the f are you i y'all know how obama has someone that curse for him i need to find me somebody I need to find me somebody that curses so they can say all the curse words that I want them to say. You know, when I say F, they actually say the word. I'm so sick of this karmic. I can't wait till I get to the port to the point where I'm important enough to have a moderator. I'm going to be like, hey, ma'am, sir, excuse me. I'm going to need you to actually say the curse words when I'm saying. <laughs> you fear me. <laughs> But baby, you don't work, and you got there with integrity, and that's what these that's what these false people don't like about you. You didn't have to bend over, you didn't have to go begging, you didn't care who supported you, who didn't support you, you didn't care who liked you, who didn't like you, you didn't care about none of that. The Most High said, "Keep your eyes on me." Basically, keep your eyes on the prize, and we will get there. And this is what you're receiving, and they don't care who it is that stands in your way. They don't mind knocking those us down it said you you oh you want a broken boom because we can knock you down so hard that you can't get back up ever again but in a wheelchair how about that you want to keep playing oh you you love money how about we take all of that away from you you want to keep playing this emperor is about to be burdened the king of swords has been playing all these mind games nobody got time for your nonsense look at you i ain't playing with you sir what i said in my reads this is a spiritual court case that's why I said that prayer at the beginning, <clears throat> that petition that I make at the beginning of my reads, that's judgment being called. Sir, your judgment is you are losing everything, whatever relationship you've been trying to manifest in a horrendous situation is going to be exposed and you are losing that too. You're going to be losing your finances, may lose a business, someone you've been uh, trying to block resources for, they may become your boss. How about that? Catch them outside. How about that? My ancestor said, catch us outside. How about that? Catch us outside. How about that? Catch us outside. They say you ain't even got to catch them outside. They know where you live. You know the suckers can go through walls. They just be boom. Hello, Mr. Bossman, sir. It is time for you to return what it is you stole from our lineage. Because some of you dark workers don't understand. When you come after certain beings, you're not coming after just one being. You're coming after a lineage. And they don't care what they got to do for them to get what it is that belongs to them. They've been here longer than you. <laughs> so whatever they got to do to make sure you walk away so that their child or family member can have this new beginning and this abundance here that you're trying to block, baby, you best believe they got options and what they can do to you. Oh, they got options. They got options. Whatever reckless, mm, I'm telling you, they got options. They got options. They got options. And whatever they're about to do to you, you ain't recovering from it. You, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, everybody, Queen of Cups, all the reverse. You're trapped. You've bonded yourself to something and it's all coming down. Big revelation, big humbling moment. Everything is coming down so that whoever you've been trying to destroy can have that victory and move forward with their life. Still have the space, the safety to say what it is they have to say because we are all free beings, okay? We are entitled to saying what the heck we have to say because that's part of our life lessons, our soul journey, being outspoken, saying whatever it is that we need to do. Of course, we're doing, doing it practically, okay? So there is a 
there are two people that will be meeting and whoever this man is will be getting the truth about what it is that's been taking place and he may be taking actions after that or from there or from here to protect whoever this is that he's interested in working with the illusions are over this man knows the truth so he's going to be protecting or guarding himself from the illusions because he knows deep down that you all are both is live and working together to what and two people block two people from having wish fulfillment whether that's in business or love or whatever it is we want to call it but maybe these light workers are sick and tired of your nonsense if you need to get it together come on johnny come on susie get it together it's a new age it's a new era okay the old one is dead and gone okay i know you all are living in fear the whole community is living in fear yeah we don't care we don't care one bit. We don't care. I've been told you in a few readings. We don't care who's sick. We don't care who's uh, uh, dying. We don't care what you're losing, job. We don't care. Because you didn't care when you were taking it from us. We don't give two hits. Moderator, that's when you will come in in the future when we are important on this channel. That's when you will come in and say whatever it is how <laughs> it hits stands for. <laughs> Baby, we don't care. We don't care what you're about to lose. If you're going to the penitentiary, you're getting on a lawsuit, your grandmama's sick, your grandpappy's sick, your daddy, your mama, your sister, your brother, we don't give two hits. Okay? You can live. The whole tribe is living in fear. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Living in fear. We're going to figure this stuff out now. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> living in fear because the truth is out. This king of uh, king of wands is burdened because what he said. Why did it take me this long to talk to this person to go towards this person? Why was I here wasting all my time? Oh, I know. It's because the king of swords was lying to you, causing you illusions this whole time. Or it could be like a king of cups that's maybe frustrated now. Maybe everybody is going through a tower. The king of cups is having a revelation. This could be someone else too. Mm. This could be uh, somebody else too, and there could be a, an actual king of cups behind the scenes that's interested in working with you. He's about to have some type of big revelation about some type of disappointment when it comes to a high priestess, and they're going to have to move on, okay? Somebody was working with a high priestess, and now they're all figuring out why something is not working. That's because that high priestess is not the high priestess that she said she was. She's been pretending to be the actual high priestess. The real high priestess is about to show up. Our people are going to be seeing the high priestess for who they are. Maybe I don't care. Okay. Oh, damn. Someone's worried. Or all of these people are worried because you're going to be receiving some type of offer that's going to enable you to move on in a new direction and that's what these people are afraid of you having a new beginning you having a family whether you're a man or woman you having a family you having love everything a successful and abundant life they don't want you having any of that they say you're supposed to be a peasant okay you are beneath them you are the scum beneath your feet okay the bottom of the barrel kind of material and that's where you're supposed to stay you see how selfish people are you don't be bothering people out here but for some reason these dark workers they feel the need to bother other people i will never math that math and get the answer that i need because baby it just will never math like it's supposed to math <clears throat> how source has it set up that math does not equal to common sense okay um so someone is gonna have to, i keep telling you all you're gonna have to find a lawyer you're going to need a lawyer because somebody's going to take you all to court and you're going to lose miserably. You see this right here? I don't know if you all went and paid a crooked lawyer as well. They're losing everything. They stand to lose everything. Everything? Everything. Everything must go. Maybe even you. Could be a lawyer coming towards someone in the collective uh, to communicate with you about something that you have given you or talked to you about a long time ago, but they've been holding it hostage. Maybe they have people behind the scenes giving them a little cha-ching, cha-ching, and they just act like they didn't know something was going on. Maybe everything is coming out. All the illusions. Maybe they knew. They knew. <clears throat> they knew people were out here blocking your options, blocking communications and all of that. Every Baby, I'm telling you, this lawyer here knew. They, they knew. 
Every time I'm reading, I'm doing it as lawyer. There's something about the three of wands. They knew. They have foresight. Um, everybody is disappointed because your investments are coming to life. They said, oh. And then they have the audacity to be out here moping about what they invested their time in. You knew from the get-go. When you started at A, when you started at 1, you knew what you were investing in. Why are you out here now worried? Don't be worried. Say it with your chest. I'm karmic and I'm... You're karmic and you're private. I ain't going to say that I ain't karmic. Now, I, um, I'm a handful, but I'm not karmic now. Uh, I'm not about to be sticking that into existence. I've done too much work. Too much work. To go back to this. No, 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 no. I don't work hard to become this. To become this. Yeah. I ain't about to be out here claiming nothing. But you got to see it with your chest. You commit yourself to this lifestyle style and you want to come out here having unlimited options on what you can do to people and block their pathways and their abundance and options and offers and things like that. You got to say it with your chest. You said, Alyssa, best say it with your chest. I'm, I'm karmic and I'm proud. Girl, don't be out here backdooring what it is you've been standing up proud and stuff in mm -mm. don't be don't be shy now because the truth is out this ain't no time to be shy baby you should be ready for your close-up i'm telling you you should be ready for your close-up you ready for your close-up like sugar mama was i'm ready for my close-up <laughs> sugar mama said she was ready for her close-up don't be afraid now sugar mama was not afraid for her close-up you need to be ready ready mm -hmm. is it because you know the truth is out about to be burning. Been out here trying to destroy someone. They're trying to destroy a whole king of cups too. What is wrong with you people? They said we don't want him committing to someone. This whole institution is falling from grace. This whole institution, something's about to happen to an institution. They're about to fall from grace and it's going to balance something out. So one kingdom has to fall for the next kingdom to rise. The kingdom of darkness has to come to an end for the kingdom of light to take off. And that's what's about to happen. I don't know what to tell you all. I just doing my job. Someone pissed. Someone is pissed off because a queen of pentacles I keep picking up in here. Because I keep seeing this queen of pentacles showing up, stepping back in. There's a light worker in the community. Baby girl. Baby boy. I don't know who you are, but you got options coming towards you. Oh, you about to have your stuff. Oh, you about to have options. Options. And these people are fighting, fighting. Because the truth is out. It's out. And it has them way down. Because you're so disciplined. And you keep on being practical in this situation and moving on. The truth is being looked into, exposed, and evaluated. And things will be balanced out. And you're going to have your new beginning. Shall I say more? Shall I say more? Do I need to say more? Lord, I don't even know how this audio is going to sound. I'm going to have to find me some new earphones. To, oh, baby. I'm just glad I'm alive. I'm happy. I'm well. My ancestors are taking care of me and my children. Thank you, ancestors. Source for being there always. Never had to worry about nothing because you all just be out here with options for me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I am forever grateful to you all. Anyways, here we go here. This family here is about to be going through poverty. Again, everything you all have been doing was always destined to go against you. The ancestors, the universe wants you to know this is what you all didn't see. It was always destined for you all to lose everything. And even though we've been warning you all time and time again, you didn't want to listen. There's a queen of cups. I said it before. It's, honey, you're about to lose everything. You're about to be put out of a home. Uh, I don't know if you're going through a divorce or whatever this is you got legal issues coming in the uh, mother wife whoever you're about to be homeless as well being, being a lot of you about to lose a whole lot and this is justice this is justice this is justice it's a man getting away from a relationship he's not happy in someone just mastering themselves Two people are about to be investing into each other, uh, just moving on with their life, balancing the situation out, and just pouring into each other. And this is what people have been afraid of. Two people have manifested a ten of pentacles. That's not only just that's that's not only involving love, but it's also work, success, business, everything, a whole legacy, baby. Oh my God, this is the dream. This is what dreams are made for. 
I hope it was not it was not just all a dream, you know, as Biggie said. It was all a dream. I used to read water magazine, salt and pepper, half a dip in the limousine, pink pictures on my wall. Okay, I hope it's not all a dream, but I think it's gonna be okay. It's a false woman of high honor and has had a right to poverty by to lose every baby. Everybody that was involved is just losing everything. Just smack that. Smack that. Just losing everything. Yeah, everybody got to move on. While the two uh, beings are coming together, everybody's going to... You know, the two beings are moving on up to the east side in a deluxe apartment in the sky. They're moving on up to the east side. <laughs> they finally got a piece of that pie. Anyways, while they're doing all that, being bougie, are we wee over there? Everybody else is... Falling and they can't get up. Help, we falling and we can't get up. I don't got nothing to do with us. I'm gonna be outside that deluxe apartment in the sky looking up. You think they're up there? You think they'll give us five dollars today for some ramen noodles? Girl, no, I don't think they're gonna gonna give us five dollars for ramen noodles. But they're light workers, they're healers, right? They they always give. They're supposed to forgive. That's what they're supposed to do. Girl, no, 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 no. Those two are a little different. They're built a little different. They'll give two Fs. <laughs> Whoever these two are, they're about to come together. When I said they 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 they, uh, they marry each other, it's scary. It's like the the man is the uh, male version of the female, and the female is the uh, woman version of the masculine. They reciprocate each other on a whole nother level. Whoever these two are, or these people are, they're going to be outside that deluxe apartment in the sky. <laughs> One person is going to tell them, baby, those two, they the, they're not the normal kind of life workers. They don't get two Fs. <laughs> I just heard a masculine saying, nope. <laughs> and I don't. Yeah, these two are in sync. They don't even have to be around each other to know what the heck is it is, cause they vibrate on the same frequency. They said, "Nope, we don't give two hits, <laughs> two hits. What it is you're going through? <laughs> cause you knew what you was doing. You knew what you was doing. You were doing it, living in fear the whole time, knowing that the truth will be exposed. Something will be looked into, and you still took action to interfere with communication, to tell lies." To cause some type of distress in a union, whatever this was, try to get someone to be else to be chosen because of their looks and their low vibration. Now the truth is, out. why y'all fighting? Why, why are the karmics always fighting? Stop with the fighting. Get along. Listen. Talk about fighting. Y'all yeah, know I felt like a proud mother yesterday. I hardly ever take the time to appreciate how hard I work to make sure my kids are good. Okay, now they don't have the best in the world, but they will someday. Anyways, we went for a walk yesterday, and they were talking about how uh, their two friends, you know, their brothers and sisters, they're always fighting, and they were fighting over oh, something really silly. The older one is seventeen, the the younger is thirteen over there. Not my kids, though, their friends, and they're like they're always arguing, and they asked us why we don't argue, and they told him. <laughs> my daughter said I told. <laughs> I told I told him, one, it's really not that serious. We can work it out. And two, our mom don't play that. <laughs> I said, God dang, I hope I don't have my kids afraid of me. I don't think they are, but I just got a fair pride yesterday because my kids really don't argue with each other. They're 13 and 14. They should be in here yelling and things like that. But honey, I just be bombastic side. And I'm like, uh, I don't think these kids are doing. <laughs> I don't think these kids are normal, but that's because these two, they, they, this ain't their first rodeo. She, she told me about her past life before. I said, look at her. She said, yeah, he and I, we, we're best friends in a lot of our lifetimes together. I said, um, is that right? She said, yeah. I said, good. Good, 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 good. She said, the last lifetime, it was really rough. We were really bad. And when I left that lifetime, I went to sleep for a long time. And my angel came to tell me that I needed to try again. I told him I didn't want to. <laughs> she said, I told him I really don't want to go. 
And she said, he kept coming back to tell me that I should try again. So I just gave in. I said, girl, I can't. You sound like me. Nobody want to come here. Nobody wants to come here. Okay. Uh, you got a, 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 this king of wands, whoever this is, baby, he's worried. He's worried about you not accepting an offer from him. What did you do, sir? What did you do, Billy? What did you do? What, what was it? What was it? You been out here causing illusions to... Have you been out here telling lies? Not doing the right thing because this came out sideways on my side. You been out here what? Being very what? What are you what have you been doing? Did you run away from a connection, from a commitment? So now what it is you want to do? What you want to do? What you want to do? You trying to come, sir. It's too many characters in here for me. I'm gonna put this deck down and go through the characters just to understand what it is that I'm seeing here. You may have a few masculines that want to come towards you and give you an offer, but it's only one genuine one. The rest of them, your ancestors don't fool with them. Okay, they don't fool with them. Who? Something's being balanced out. Yeah, the truth is out. And someone is burdened by that. All the lies they've been telling out here. Someone told a lot of lies. Uh-huh. Someone told a lot of lies. Everything these people invested in has backfired horribly. It's a lot of commotion, emotions. Uh, run deep as ocean. <laughs> run deep as ocean behind the scenes. It's people over here. Not over here. Not in my way, honey. I know I'm, I'm, I don't have a life. All I do is tarot in work school and children um but whoever in the com karmic community they're going through a lot like arguing i hope there ain't no physical fights going on cursing a lot of emotions someone feels sick to their stomach uh someone is having some type of mental breakdown someone is about to pass out um a lot of lies and stuff being told a lot of chaos going they just a lot of destruction that was unnecessary just because they didn't want two people coming together whether in work is that someone knows the truth now? Put an end to this nonsense. This childish behavior in it. Put an end to it. Y'all need to cut it. And it's really crazy because a lot of the times these people that get together to try to destroy people, the very people they try to destroy are the very people they end up needing later on in life. How then do you come to that person and ask them for help? Like you, you are out here literally trying to take someone out so that they couldn't have their abundance. Now you need them to tell you who it is that took your grandmammy out, who took your daughter out, who took your auntie out. You think they're going to help you? Uh, no, nah, the ancestors, the universe is stepping in. Divine intervention. This is what's taking place. Divine intervention. Some type of, there's an institution living in fear because they've been part of this nonsense. Yeah, it's a tower, baby. All the lies, all the lies are being exposed. And you guys won't believe how this came out. These people were trying to pretend to be in the upright. Look at that. All the lies. Everything being exposed. It's a huge revelation going on about a big old lie. A big old smear campaign that's been going on. Everybody is cut up. They about, they about to get locked up. You better get locked up. They won't let you out. No. I hope they can put some money on your books. All those people that think, you know, collaborating with you all behind the scenes in secret. But now the secret is about to be exposed. I hope they can put some money on your books. It could, I'm, I'm hearing it was all a dream again. They ain't gonna put no money on that book. It was all a dream. They thought I was gonna give them some 50 cents or something. Uh -uh. <laughs> it was all a dream. This is when somebody's ex is involved in this situation by way shot. Somebody's ex? Baby, why did that come to mind? Somebody's ex is involved in a situation. This is when the ex is coming back when the truth is, uh, is out. And now they know you didn't do nothing to them. Never cheated on them or whatever. Now they want to come out to them. But do you remember ah, when we fell in love? We were young and innocent. Remember? Yeah, look at the light worker. Look at them like, um... I don't remember. You must be out your mind. You need to get away for I flash you across the face. Remember? Lord have mercy. I got to work on my singing, but y'all don't come here for my singing, do you? No, you come here for the tarot. Ah, and you get the tarot. The singing, disappointment, but the tarot, have odds. How y'all doing? Stay blessed out there, folks. Don't let anyone kill your vibes. Don't let nobody kill your vibes. Tell them you 
So then to temper with your vibes, your ancestors are going to temper with them, with their lives. <laughs> temper with my vibes and my ancestors temper with your lives. I'm telling you, with your lives. It's an emperor trapped, confused, don't know what to do. He's beside himself, sending messages, sending emails. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're about to get together. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. What's going on? I'm trying to figure out what. Baby, I'm telling you, they're confused. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. These people don't martyr themselves because the truth is out. Something is about to be investigated. Something is going to be looked into. Is it? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whoever this man is that want to work with somebody behind the scenes, he's about to tell them, you got me in food up. <laughs> this is someone that's high ranking too? Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's about to tell them. You got me in food up in one and two bitty ways. We're going to fix this real quick. Lawsuit. <laughs> got problems. Oh, baby. Why is the Drake lyrics coming to mind? It said, I've got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to dream me of this energy, trying to take away from a trigger. Oh, because I got them triggered. Hey, li li listen, I try on that part. I try, I try, I try. I try on that part, folks. I try. It's one again. The universe is taking. Oh, baby. The universe is out here. Divine intervention to balance this sucker out. They said they don't got time to play with these people today, tomorrow, or any day. It's six of. It's a six again. A balance. Healing. Everybody got to move on. Even the light workers. Everybody got to move on. Even you, light worker, you got to move on with your life. Because I, I, I know a lot of you are just tired. It's just redundant by this time. It's happening in this cycle for a long time now. These ancestors told me it should be over by now. But what the heck is going on? Oh, that's because you got a few narcissists in the background of you that won't let go with this freaking five out here. Maybe this camera right here. This camera right here. Mm -hmm. It's a situation. It's a situation. It's okay. We are grateful. We are grateful. Yeah, they're, the karmics are fighting. <laughs> the karmics are fighting again because you're receiving your abundance for celebration. A bounty. A soul trap. A union. A manifestation. A Hey, hey, I'm telling you, back to the floor, okay? So, anyways, whatever it is your ancestors or the universe has promised you, it is being manifested. Whoever this is is going through this mess, baby, I'm so sorry because some people out here just don't get it. They just don't get it. Oh, I said I was going to do a little recap to see what everybody's going through in here. This King of Wands here, I think there are two people in here representing a King of Wands. It's a King of Cups, King, King of Pentacles, King of Wands energy that's leaving some type of situation to, you know, balance himself out. He wants to be in a genuine connection with someone. He may have been in a relationship with like a false empress or something like that. She got issues coming in. I don't know if they're going to court to get some type of divorce or whatever, or she's caught up in something she should not have been participating in with a queen of cups in the reverse. Some, maybe somebody's about to be paying out a whole lot of money, losing a whole lot of money. All these people have been lying, uh, creating chaos and destruction for no reason, simply because of jealousy and somebody's beauty. Okay, someone wanting to work with another person. Maybe a man finds you to be very beautiful. Maybe he's very attracted to you. And then you have the audacity maybe to be very hardworking, to be a woman of your word, to be someone in the upright. I mean, you're not perfect, but you know, nine times, eight, nine, ten, nine times out of ten times, you get it right. And he said he's okay with that. Um, Someone may have done like the, uh, what is it, the... the 80, 20, 90, 10 rule or something. Maybe he chose the 10% from before. Now he's trying to fix it. Someone's ex may have went with the 10% or the 20%. Now maybe he wants to come back to the 90%, the 80%. Maybe we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Okay. But they're going to fix it. They're going to fix the situation. So whoever this King of Wands is, whatever action they're taking, they're trying to balance something out. I, I will throw a caution with anyone that's coming towards you. Give it time. So the whole truth is exposed. Give it time, okay? Because I see a few people in here that don't have any genuine intent. They may just want to come and give to you because the truth is being exposed about all the lies they've been 
telling behind the scenes, all the destructions and the chaos they've been causing behind the scenes. And maybe they don't want you to take them to court. Maybe they don't want to have to lose what it is they stole or try to take from you. There's something that got to be balanced out. So you may have a few people coming towards you trying to give you some money. <laughs> Tell them to take it to the court. Um. Anyways, mm, this family... They're heartbroken because you two are coming together and you two coming together is going to be causing a big old tower for them because something is coming to an end. The truth, all their stealing, manipulations and all of that, that narcissistic behavior that they've been embodying wholeheartedly for years is coming to an end. That bigotry that they've been promoting for so long is coming to an end. The universe is balancing it out. Okay. Somebody's about to be in a community, a community that's very uh, uh what what is the word it's gonna be flourishing like maybe you're gonna be the light in the community maybe you're gonna bring hope to other people something maybe very dead and gone and when you're stepping because you know how the star sees be when they walk through boom hey when they walk through baby they just be bringing that with them the lights camera action but you know those light workers will be asking for attention it's just be like okay Thank you for being here. Okay, what are we doing today? You don't know what we're doing? I'll tell you what, you're, what we're doing. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. I got it. Okay, it's okay. How you doing today, Maria? How you doing today? Nice to see you. Stay blessed. Goodbye. How you doing, Elizabeth? How you doing? How you doing? Nice to see you again. Remember we got checked the last time you got anything smart to say today? No, you don't? Okay, have a good day, Elizabeth. Did you get that report that I needed you to get? No, you didn't get it? I'm going to need you to work on that. <laughs> War in the team and be on 10 over here. <laughs> Entertainment and be on 10 over here. Mm -mm. I wouldn't take money from anyone coming towards you because they're all coming towards you from what I'm seeing to do. There's some type of ulterior motives for why these people are coming towards you. It's either to dismantle you, cause some type of illusion, get you to let your guard down. Don't let your guard down from it for any of these people until the absolute truth, nothing but the whole truth is out. So help them source and their ancestors that are sick and tired of this nonsense. Your ancestors too. So your ancestors said, ancestors are saying, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, hold up on that. Don't be taking no money from these people because it's bribery. They're trying to get you cut up so you can get locked up. You don't belong in jail. You don't belong in the burdens and nothing. This is what they're trying to set for you. Okay, tell them to calm down. Calm down, Sima. Calm down. Cool down, Sima. Cool down. Calm down, simmer. They need to calm down and simmer where they are. I mean, don't bring the problems to the collective. They're good. They're king of swords. Maybe I see someone taking some type of reckless action. Talking about when I walk through, boop, trying to kick the door in. So don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to go get clogged up. Nobody cares what connections you have. You won't be able to manipulate your way out of that one. Because whoever I picked up on, oh, baby, this man here, he be manipulating, manipulating. Someone has been manipulating their whole life. Everybody around them. Everybody around them. When I say everybody, everybody. Even maybe the cat and the dogs. The rats, the raccoons, everybody he's been manipulating. They said, I smell S-H-I-T. He said, no, that's not S-H-I-T. You're smelling ribs. <laughs> that's leftover ribs, you fool. Uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh. Even the raccoons don't want that kind of ribs. <laughs> they said, nah, we ate leftover ribs before. That, that's, that, that don't taste like ribs. That don't smell like ribs now. We don't want that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Queen of Cups, reverse. Darling. Girl, I don't know what to tell you, but this relationship you were in, that pretentious relationship you were in where you were pretending to care about somebody, it, girl, you're going to have to cut it. You're going to have to cut it. This is why I don't even like doing this. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I do. It's because it's a little petty and I got a little bit of pettiness in me. So it's not that I don't like doing it. I just feel like I shouldn't be doing it because I just be picking up on everything, but... Like, it's the pettiness for me. Like, we all got a little bit of pettiness in me. And I, in, in us, I feel like some of you come here for my little bit of pettiness. So I got to make sure everybody is satisfied. But baby, that pretending you are doing to be genuine is over. It's a whole time. 
So it will be revelation. And there's a whole revelation about a whole genuine Queen of Cups. I said, oh, she's actually a Queen of Cups? Yeah. She really is. Just a little Lisa with the mouth. That's all. Like myself here. What I picked up on is a Queen of Queen of Cups. It's a Queen of Swords. And I think someone has had to become a Queen of Swords because of what these rats have been doing behind the scenes. So while they were trying to break you, destroy you, they really helped whoever this is become like a diamond. And it's pissing somebody up. It said, we weren't doing this to help you. We were doing this to destroy you. And it didn't work. Like whatever. You see the saying, it said, what the enemy uh, plan for your downfall, the, the, the Lord uses for your good. This is one of those situations. Whatever these people were planning to use for your downfall, uh-huh. The universe is using it to uplift you. You see how that works? You see how that works? Okay, so I don't think someone is like malicious, spiteful, or anything like that. I just think there's a feminine out here, or maybe there's going to be a masculine that has learned to become a king, queen of swords. Okay, king of swords as well. Um, Just so that they can protect themselves. Um, because this is someone that's actually an empress or an emperor is what I'm picking up on. So this master or four attributes of the kings and queens when they're coming out of this situation baby this is how they're coming out they said keep looking but don't touch that fiery energy you 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 don't don't don't, don't do it don't you want to bust the move I, I dare you to someone's coming out here with a whole lot of fire and a whole lot of shebang but on the inside baby they're still balanced but don't don't try them don't try them okay don't try them let me see if I've missed any other type of petty comments. Let me see if I've missed it. Missed it anything. I don't think I missed it. And it just seems like everybody's losing everything. Baby, I don't know what. Mm. There could be an empress in here. False empress that wants to go in and give somebody some money. They don't need no money. The light workers don't need no money from you, girl. It ain't genuine. It's a whole lie. You're trying to block the lie from me. You're trying to block the full lie from coming out, girl. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Okay, it's coming out. Dang, they're mad. They don't be, oh, I can't. I'm appalled. I am clutching my invisible pearls because I don't have none. <laughs> and I'm clutching my spiritual pearls. I got a lot of those. <laughs> These people are mad. They've tried to complicate some type of new beginning with a king of cups. Impossible. Yeah, king of cups in a... Queen of Cups, they're both moving on. Queen of Cups reverse. I'm not talking about you, girl, because you're still out here trying to act like we're talking about you. We ain't talking about you. We're talking about the two light workers that are in the upright. They are getting together and sailing on the calmer waters in love. Reciprocity. Healing. Oh, okay. You know what? Let me get on out of here. I think now I'm being a little bit too petty. Yeah, they're coming together just like I had said. See that? Just like I had said. Just like I had said. They're coming together. They're coming together. Anyway, yeah, in celebration. In celebration. And the and the haters are gonna stay mad. Do we care? No, we do not care. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.